hello guys hope you're good hope everything is good how are you how are you doing just know i'm happy today because in just two weeks we are having 500 subscribers that is a great achievement in just two weeks and we are having 500 subscribers just know i'm happy thank you so much my followers my subscribers for the likes for the comments just come here to tell you whatever you want to know about iraq yeah today i've come to ask a question someone asked me that how did i travel to iraq and my first days in iraq yeah i'm going to tell you how i traveled to iraq you know i'm from uganda and i'm a ugandan a proud ugandan yeah before coming to iraq the thing was like this i was in uganda and jobs were not that good actually i was studying while working in uganda so eventually i got a deal someone told me that there are there are jobs in iraq and i can earn some good money so i decided to connect with that person and eventually the things passed through and i had to come so they told me on wednesday that you know what on friday you're traveling to iraq and i was so much happy because it was it was my very first flight i've never traveled to any other country guess what Friday was the day we were supposed to travel to Iraq and I had to meet my manager, the one who was supposed to handle everything that I was supposed to do. So we are 12 girls, we are supposed to come and travel to Iraq. Everything was successful. We reached the airport and I was nervous. I was scared because it was my very first time to travel to any other country. So when we reached the check-in, everything was successful and we reached the waiting area. The waiting area, you know, we are giving tickets. You know, giving you, he was given a ticket. I was given two tickets. Guess what? One was from Uganda to Egypt and another one was from Egypt to Iraq back that so I reached there. I was with my friends actually I got to know them on that day on Friday so we interacted we talked about a lot of things until when we had to board the airplane so in the airplane I even didn't know <laughs> I had no idea about the airplane you know, you know I was like what is going to be there what is I don't know but I was super excited we reached the airplane so we had to check the tickets and the ticket was directing us where we we're supposed to sit we had to take a photo before setting off I had to call my dad my mom my friends that you know what I'm coming to Iraq I'm going to work and they were all excited even though that my dad knew about it and my mom so most of my friends didn't know about it so this is where the story starts from we had to set off from Uganda to Egypt on reaching Egypt to reach Egypt at around it was at around 7 because the airplane set off from Uganda it was at 4 so it was a four hours flight yeah we reached Egypt on reaching there you know reaching Egypt and you don't know even what to do so we thought that on reaching Egypt the on reaching Egypt we are going to like to board ex another plane to come to Iraq direct but guess what we had to be at, on, at the airport of Egypt for something like 12 hours you are not waiting <laughs> actually when I remember that time I was like I wish I knew what was going to happen because we reached the airport of Egypt Cairo at 7 and our flight was at 12 12 the next day that night so we had to be there at the airport sleeping waking up being on the phone and the phones the battery was you know we didn't know anything because most of us the the 12 girls only one person had traveled yeah only one person had traveled and it was the person who was telling us about everything that we are supposed to do egypt was totally cold you know being 
<laughs> at the airport when everything is cold. You know, I had only one jumper, but it was extremely cold. The place is cold because I traveled in April, and in April it's still winter in Egypt. So it was extremely cold, and on top of that, they had SCs on, the cold SCs. When time reached for us to set off to come to Iraq, Baghdad, we were excited, we were happy, we had to set off. Ah, and eventually we reached Iraq. We reached Iraq at around 3, 3 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, 3 a.m. in the morning, and we, uh, someone came, someone was, I think, there was a man who was working at the airport and they came and they picked us we went at the office actually there is something i forgot when we reached the airport the iraq airport i don't know how it is called actually <laughs> i'm sorry for that but i don't know how their airport is called when we reached the airport of iraq someone picked us and we went directly to the office we had to sleep because it was still morning it was still night so we woke up at around nine and they took us to the hospital to check us whether we are okay whether we are not pregnant where we are, whether we are not infected with the hiv so everything was successful everyone was good and okay we went back at the office and people started coming the clients started coming taking our friends of course before even taking us to the hospital we had to exchange num numbers with our friends such that if at all someone goes and has got a problem we can communicate and we know how everyone is doing so the day reached for me it, that day it was 11 my boss came on 12 and picked me up and I came and I started working in this house yeah another question is that they asked me that how were my first days in Iraq actually my first days in Iraq were totally good I enjoyed everything was perfect and I had a good time I my boss took me to different places my first days in Iraq were totally good and I was happy and I was like, you know what? This is a very good country because they don't have any restrictions about how someone can put on. And my boss was totally very okay. Yeah, I can put on how I like because you see, this is how I put on when I'm working. I can put on anything I want. So everything was good. I hope I've answered your question, my dear friend. Thank you so much for loving me. Thank you so much for always following me. And I'm glad that I have you people. Thank